Welcome to this Android channel and this is a quick look at Android 8 Aureo but first we'll talk about and answer some basic questions that are regular questions that people ask about Android. So of course everybody that has an Android phone knows that basically having a version of Android is kind of complex depending on what device you have. Some devices have it right away like the uh, Google Pixel phones, for example, and other devices get it way, way later. So, for example, Samsung Galaxy phones get it later. Um, version 7 is what is on a lot of devices. Version 6 is even more popular, uh, which is uh, crazy when you think about it that, you know, versions 2 or 3 um, versions behind are actually more popular. And that's the biggest problem with Android. But um, if you are on the Android 6 still, which is Marshmallow, you a lot of these devices will be upgraded and are still being upgraded to Android 7, which is crazy when you think that Android 8 Oreo is now there. Now, if you have Android 7 on your device, you are, of course, already a lucky winner and um, will probably have Android Oreo, Android 8, a little sooner. So you might ask, okay, but what is, you know, what are the, the features of Android A? So, um, okay, first of all, who will have and when will have it? I know that Google worked hard in trying to make some of the devices from manufacturers like LG, Samsung, and uh, Huawei, and all the other manufacturers, basically, of different uh, handset, um, try to go a little faster in upgrading the Oreo to the Oreo um or Android 8 version. So of course, one of the things that will happen, some of you will have it before the end of the year apparently, but on the latest devices only. You've had an older device, like for example, I've got a Galaxy S7. It will be upgraded to Oreo, to version 8, but it will be upgraded only next year, sometime next year. So it's a little slower. Okay, what are the new features quickly? Uh, new notification channels, so easier way to have notification and better control of notification. Uh, picture in picture, you will now be able to have um, a video playing uh, while you're doing something else. So for example, if you have a YouTube video in Android 7 and you want to go to another app, you lose that capability of playing the video. Well, Android 8 adds that capability. You'll be able to continue watching the YouTube video while you're in your calendar, for example. So these are a few changes that are coming with Oreo. So these are interesting because they are, um, in fact, uh, features that are very, very cool when you want to not lose, for example, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, of a video or of, um, you know, something that you're watching and you just want to have it there. Uh, apart from that, there's also some um, better Wi-Fi connectivity. Uh, better Wi-Fi connectivity to save battery also. So basically, if you disable Wi-Fi all the time, for example, your device will automatically turn Wi-Fi on or off when it detects it is near some of your uh, home network, for example, and stuff like that. So it's an interesting uh, throttle of the Wi-Fi that will actually help your um, Android device save power because that's one of the things that they want to try to do with the Android, the new Android version, save power. What else is there? Well, a faster phone apparently. Uh, they've worked really, really hard to have Android 8 perform much, much better. So it is to a point where they actually say it could be on low-end devices and it will work better than the original Android uh, version that was on that phone, for example. So this is interesting because it might help a lot in uh, making devices um, faster, especially if you have a device that's you know several years old and you start finding that it's a little sluggish. If it ever goes to Android 8, that could be interesting. A more powerful password autofill now, so it is actually much better than it was before. Better storage management. That's one of the major issues of a lot of owners of phones what are the options when I want to save some space? A lot of people have phones with very little space, like 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes. 
and they're like, okay, I don't have any more space once apps are there and everything's installed. Update. Even if you're out of space, that's also very cool. Now the operating system has the ability to update apps and update itself, even if you don't have space, because it will just stream the updates as it's installing it, which is very, very nice. This is a feature that's been on the iPhone now for a little while because a lot of people were going crazy with that, and now it's coming to Android. So these are just some of the cool features of Android 8. And of course, uh, on this channel, we will um, have more and more Android videos. Uh, one of the things I want to check out is having a more modern device that actually has Android 8 on it. So uh, that's something I should have in the next uh, maybe few weeks, hopefully. And uh, we'll try to uh, modernize the channel and we'll start posting again as Android is, you know, the most popular operating system that exists out there. You got to you know, remember that it is very, very popular and it is um, available, you know, on so many devices. So, of course, it's worth to, to uh, kind of, you know, kick in and have a new, uh, I think, have a new uh, direction on this channel for Android. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.